photography. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. Scholars, welcome back. This is Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. I'm a professional artist and master educator attempting to bring you the best in art historical content. Now, if you like this video, I'd love you to interact with it. Uh, it's really appreciated. Thank you. You stood, buttwad! Today, I'd like to talk about one of the really influential and revolutionary photographers of his generation a man that sprung from the Harlem Renaissance and really went from the beginnings of you know the the 20s and 30s in photography to close to our modern times uh, relatively contemporary a man by the name of James Vanderzee he's a photographer that uh, hopefully you've heard of but if you haven't Here's a little bit of a glimpse at the life and the influence of really a, one of the most superb photographers of his time and really we should look at today as an example. James Vanderzee really began with photography as a teenager after he won an $8 camera as a result of a magazine promotion. And he would start by taking photographs of his family and friends around town in Lenox, Massachusetts. And this kind of stood out because he was one of the first people in town to actually own his own camera. In 1915, he moved to Newark, New Jersey, where he would get his first breaks into the commercial world of photography. One of his first jobs working with photography was as a darkroom clerk in a small department store where basically he helped develop film and prints that were brought in. Later, he would get promoted to become a portrait studio photographer. But the following year, he would return to New York, where there were a large number of blacks migrating into the city, specifically in the borough of Harlem. The work that he had been doing in the department store gave him enough technical experience to feel confident enough to open up his own studio. And eventually, he would become the most successful photographer in the borough. When he was producing hundreds of photographs, recording Harlem's middle class, documenting weddings, funerals, celebrities, and the social life in the neighborhoods. New and improved. He is probably best known for his portraits from the Harlem Renaissance. As an artist, he used photography as a means not only to celebrate black culture, but also as a conduit to radiate the sitter's pride as well. Possibly one of his most famous images that he captured was Couple Harlem from 1932. In my view, this is a couple from a demographic above upper middle class. They've got the his, hers, raccoon coats. They're rolling in the Cadillac, which at the time was completely customized for the owner. And only about 4,000 of these things were made. So this isn't middle class, especially in 1932 during the Great Depression. Anyway, this is a photograph that challenged popular perceptions about race, class, success it would become an iconic image of the american dream from the perspective of black america he struggled in the 1930s because of the economic circumstances of the great depression and partially due to the fact that people were starting to own their own personal cameras he started to dabble in passport photography photo restoration and taking other photography related side jobs really to make ends meet Photographers and photographic historians really got notice of his work starting in about 1967 and he got a huge amount of attention across the country and worldwide. Although he had already gone into retirement, he came out of that retirement to start to photograph celebrities and do some photo promotions for his photographic exhibits that were taking place across the nation. Throughout his career, he would take photographs of individuals like Bojangles, Marcus Garvey, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Bobby Sabu, and many, many others. Isn't that a daisy? 
I think the work of James Van Der Zee is really inspiring in the fact that it really illustrates the moment in which we live and he was really brilliant at capturing that. There are a lot of times I think, do I really need to take a photograph of that? I mean, who cares about Christmas decorations or who cares about my vacation or the things you might go past every single day on the street on the way to work or whatnot. But it's a moment in our time, it's a glimpse back at something in the past. And somebody thought and actively engaged with the idea of taking a photograph of the everyday people, the everyday things you see just walking down the street, the parades and the happy times and sad times. And now we have those forever because of his ability to see the beauty within the mundane. And really, that's something we all can do. Because in 25 years, somebody's going to say, hey, I wonder what it was like back then. Just like my personal photographs unlock the mysteries of the 1980s or 1990s to my kids. It won't be long and a future generation is going to wonder what was it like in 2021 or whatever. I don't know, maybe not. I guess the point is that I hope that we all learn something from James Van Der Zee, especially in the way of capturing our moment and preserving that in time for others to enjoy, for others to learn from, and to provide our point of view of the world for others to maybe better understand. Man, I love me some James Van Der Zee. Thanks for watching.